So what are the most common symptoms you see with SIBO? So common symptoms, I already mentioned the most uh, common hallmark symptoms are the gas, the bloating, the distension. And of course, those are caused by the gases that are being produced by the bacteria. And those gases are trapped in a place where they really shouldn't be, right? They're, it's more natural for them to be created in the colon. But if a lot of gas is created in that small intestine, gas bloating, um, distension um, comes from that. The um, other symptoms, abdominal pain, abdominal cramping, um, some sort of bowel irregularity is really common depending on what kind of bacteria is found in the small intestine. Some are more likely to cause diarrhea, some are more likely to cause constipation, but there's usually some sort of bowel irregularity. Um, and those are the main symptoms. If someone walks in the door and is concerned about those symptoms, I strongly suspect SIBO might be going on. Um, and then there's you know, other digestive symptoms that can occur, nausea, reflux, um, belching, some of the upper GI stuff can be going on as well. And then doesn't stop there, right? So as I mentioned before, a lot of systemic issues can be happening as well. Fatigue, brain fog, focus issues, um, some mood issues like anxiety and depression, um, just general malaise, general body aches, um, and interestingly, there's a lot of skin issues also that can come up in, in SIBO, uh, rashes, hives, rosacea. Um, and, and then, you know, it get, again, it gets complex. There's the nutrient deficiencies that are involved. So if there's, let's say, iron deficiency, they're also going to be experiencing some fatigue, faintness, shortness of breath from, from that. Yeah. Um, so there could be a long list of symptoms but it's really those digestive symptoms that I mentioned in the beginning that really flag me to suspect SIBO. Yeah, and, and um, there's really 84% of IBS patients that are considered to have IBS, they really have SIBO, right? As yes. the Dr. Pimentel's um, findings. So yes. it's interesting that a lot of people get uh, thrown under that blanket just having IBS. And uh, what they really have is um, SIBO, SIBO. That's so true. That's a staggering statistic, I think. Um, and, and many patients come into my office with IBS and it's at that point, just a clinical diagnosis. They have enough symptoms and they can't really find a root cause. So they say, you know, you have IBS, but a patient still is left wondering what's going on. And now we have answers for a lot of those patients um, yeah. that, it was actually causing it. Mm -hmm. so have you find that uh, when people come to your clinic saying, you know, I've been diagnosed with IBS for 10 years and they have never done a, a SIBO breath test, have you finding that whenever you do the test, they come up positive, right? So much of the time, yes, Marie, yes. Mm -hmm.